Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam teaches إِذَا مَاتَ بْنُ آدَمَ انْقَطَعَ عَمَلُهُ إِلَّا مِنْ ثَلَاثِ صدقة جارية أو علم ينتفع به أو ولد صالح يدعو له says Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when the child of Adam dies a man or a woman three features of their lives will continue to bear fruits as though they were still alive and living by those features they're dead when you die you don't do anything. That's it. The gate of doing, the gate of acting is closed. Because after death is reckoning and payment and accountability and accounting. When we're alive, that's our chance to do and to act. But subhanAllah, Rasulullah teaches that there are three exceptions. That when a person dies, three things or three features that were part of his or her life will continue to bear fruit as though he or she was still or were still living. And he says, number one, sadaqatin jariya, as you know, a continuing charity. A person, for example, who gives in charity to build a hospital where people continuously are taken care of. And the benefit of it continues after his death or her death to others. Building a school where people come and receive ilm and receive knowledge that is beneficial to them for their life and their afterlife that benefit continues after his or her death. So every time a person uses that school or uses that hospital, anyone, and benefits from that, that goes into their records as though they were alive, alive and doing that themselves. Number two, or a person left behind him or her knowledge that is beneficial to others. You leave ilm behind you that is beneficial to others, that will be counted for you and me, insha'Allah ta'ala, as though we were alive and still imparting that knowledge. And if we don't acquire knowledge, we're not going to impart knowledge. فَاقِدُ الشَّيْءِ لَا يُعْطِيهِ As the Arabic idiom teaches, the one who does not own of something cannot give of it. If you don't possess something, you can't give it. If you don't have e peace inside of your heart, you can't give peace outside. If you don't have knowledge, you can't give knowledge. If you don't have justice deeply embedded in your heart, you're not going to express justice outside. And the third one, that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa speaks about as element of this continuing charity is if the person left behind him or her a child, a righteous child, a good child who continuously prays for his or her father and mother. And a righteous child does not come for free. A righteous child comes with struggle. And righteousness cannot be with ignorance. So when I prepare a child who is righteous, I must do that through ilm, through knowledge. The child will be happy in this dunya. True sense of happiness, not a false sense of happiness. The happiness of a, of a cow or of a sheep or of a hyena, or of a shaitan. Huh? Remember yesterday, we spoke of these types of, of satisfactions. Some people are happy, but as happy as a cow. Forgive me, I don't mean to demean anybody. I myself have to struggle with myself. Some people are as happy as cows, because the, the happiness of a cow is eating and drinking and sleeping and copulating. That's the major, these are the major elements of what defines happiness of a cow or a sheep or a goat or a llama or a camel. Yes, people are happy like a hyena is happy by usurping and attacking and dominating, by killing, by stealing. Yes, a person may be happy as a shaitan by plotting, by designing, by inciting to evil. And a happy person may be as happy as an angel. 
And that's the true sense of happiness. And knowledge gives the true sense of happiness. The absence of knowledge, ignorance, gives a false sense of happiness. And a person who is used to that false sense of happiness is so used to it that he or she at some time, at some point, will not even recognize and acknowledge that they live in a stink. At the physical level, if you and I live constantly next to a rotten lake, and that lake stinks, and in some third world countries, people live literally in, next to rivers and lakes that are so polluted that they stink from a mile away. And then if you stay there and you live there for long, guess what? It doesn't smell that bad at all. Subhanallah, I don't even feel the stink. I got used to it. Keep that in mind. Please keep that in mind. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa teaches that those three things when left behind, the ilm is one of them. It is as though one were still living and we're still doing those good things. And a righteous child is one of that. And again, we cannot prepare and train righteous children with ignorance.